Hampton Public Library is having a gala fundraising event on April 7th to kick off a campaign for a new library in Kingston. Over a dozen local artists decorated buoys as the fundraiser for the proposed new library. PCN stopped in to get this story. We have a wonderful exhibit of hand-painted buoys that were done by local artists. And the reason they did them is we are having a gala on April 7th, which is going to kick off the capital campaign for what we hope will be a new library for Kingston. The buoys are on exhibit for the entire month of March, and I hope everybody will come out and see them because they are really phenomenal. We have some very talented artists that donated their time and talents to create some very interesting pieces of art. They're all hand-painted buoys. They're not full-size buoys. They're miniature. They're wood. They're all done in acrylics. They're um, sprayed so they can be hung indoors or outdoors. Uh, there are quite a few artists in this small town, Kingston, surprisingly, and we were asked by the organizers of this little fundraiser, would we consider painting boys with subjects that go beyond words? That is, to paint in a way that is uh, spiritual, uh, ideational, imaginative, rather than literal. And when you consider the shape of a boy, <laughs> it's quite a challenge. <laughs> and so uh, what we have is a collection of about 22 uh, buoys uh, painted by probably 18 different artists. Anything that's art that relates to the fantasy world, the real world, any kind of world uh, enables everybody to uh, see more largely, to be able to enrich themselves. But as far as the auction in a larger building, uh, any library that exists needs to be spacious and welcoming and filled with goodies. I often ask a question artistically and as I paint I get a vague wonderful view at the truth which is what I work for. So I don't work for other people. I don't work to sell. I work because it's pure love. We have a mystique that comes from Western Europe, uh, a sort of a suspicion of art that came from a lot of background that we won't cover here. But uh, art, even Plato said, uh, watch out for art because it's, it lies. And art doesn't lie. It often shows more truth than one gets in an everyday experience. Um, it's a beautiful exhibit and the library is a wonderful place. Always go to your library. Oh, wait, no, I don't know how Jen does it. That's all